Hey guys, so I really really enjoyed creating this set that I'm going to show you today. I've already applied my clear base using glass slippers and I'm going in with just a loose glitter that's on my website which is Sparkle Silver and I have mixed it first of all though with a little bead of clear and applying that to the nail and dragging it down. I love this set because this is one of my favourite kind of colour combinations, a mixture of French ombre glitter bling and i am going to be doing a little bit more color blocking so i'm going to create an ombre on this nail here so i'm using my glitter balls core powder in snowdrops white applying it blending out the top line and dragging it down the nail i decided to add a tiny bit more just because these nails are extra extra long so they can take a little bit more product I'm now using my newest core powder, which is Sugared Almond Shimmer. I particularly love this one at the moment. So I'm applying my first bead, like right on the line, and then my second bead into the cuticle. I'm dragging down the end of that product there, pushing it to where I want, and then dragging down the very end. I've already applied my white on the index finger on this hand, obviously because I've just shown you on this finger, so I don't want to bore you. So now I'm applying Snowdrops White. So this is like the technique I did on my previous video, where you kind of just pull it down, and then I'm gonna grab my cutting tool, where I'll place it where I want it, and drag across which I did feel a little bit more confident with um, this time, my second time trying it with it. But as you will notice um, in a moment how I carry on doing this, I do my old school way instead, just because I felt a bit more comfortable. So I'm using Sparkle Silver with Glass Slippers Clear. This is how I usually do my color blocking. You see, I'll use my brush to drag it as straight as I possibly can. And if I'm not happy with how straight it is, then I would use my hand file just to straighten it off. So I just thought I'd show you my old school way. So I'm capping the little pinky finger in Glitter Bell's glass slippers. And applying another bead for the end and then I'm gonna go in with one more bead just to make sure the apex is in the right place this is how I cap my ombres I don't always actually cap this much though on um, a shorter set these are so long that's why taking the clear higher up but normally I would just cap pretty much just where the blend is just to protect the blend and that's it because obviously they are both core powders so they don't actually need capping I'm applying a little bit of clear on top of that glitter there just so it's safe for me to go in and file after when I'm finished with the whole nail so now I'm applying the sugared almond shimmer to this nail I'll leave all the links below in the description to my website where you can find all of these products and check out my brand if you haven't already so sugar down and shimmer and just dragging it with my brush back in again with the sparkle silver and the glass slippers clear so I kind of just place it on and then I just keep dragging right with the tip of my brush the brush I am using is also by my brand Glitter Bells and it is the size 12. Applying a little bit of clear on there just to protect it from filing. And I had to do a slow-mo, sorry, but it was just, you know, it was a necessity. I had to do it. See, like, how satisfying is that? You might not feel the same way as me, but I really enjoyed that part. So, okay. Now I'm applying my Snowdrops White to this nail. Which I messed up a bit there, so I had to tidy it up. And I'm going in with my second bead, just for a little bit of more coverage. And I'm going to go in with Sparkle Silver on the very, very end and blend it up. Just on the end there. 
pushing and just dabbing up the nail just very very gently until I'm happy with it making sure that you've still got enough glitter on the very end so the index finger on this hand I just decided to do pure sparkle silver to tie it in with the other hand obviously the other hand has got it on the little pinky finger as you saw before I thought I'd show you again on this nail with this being a bigger nail. So I completely forgot to carry on filming on the other thumb, but you will see that in a little bit. So this thumb is just going to be ombre, which I sped up a little bit because you have seen it on the other nails that I've been doing. And I also was out of shot on one of the nails that I did, so I had to remove it from the video. Sorry about that. So I'm blending down my sugared almond shimmer into the snowdrops white. For all of you that know me, you will know that ombre is literally um, probably my personal favourite for what I like on my nails. I just, I'm a little bit addicted to it. So I'm going to go ahead and cap this in Glitter Bell's glass slippers. There we go, so I managed that one actually in one bead, unlike I did on the other little pinky. So I'm going to go over as well this ombre just to protect my blend like I said earlier, but not too much because obviously like I said they are core powders, even though they have shimmer in, don't have to cap them. So on the colour block nail I decided to go for it and do a bit of an ombre on the end. So I've just applied my white. And then I'm applying my sugared almond, but this time not the shimmer one, the plain version. Just in teeny, teeny, tiny beads, but make sure you tidy up the line. So I went a little bit over the silver and I decided to just use the tip of my brush just to wipe that down. Obviously it would have been fine anyway for when I come to e-file, but you'll see why I removed the excess in a moment. Because after I've done that part, see, I'm now going in with clear to protect the blend. Now, I didn't want to leave the sugared almond and the white on the silver because then putting clear over it as well, it just would have been a little bit more difficult to keep filing through and to go down. So I'm just showing you now my e-filing process for anyone that hasn't already seen it on previous videos, but I have cut a lot out and just sped it up and slowed parts down like that. <laughs> so I'll go around the cuticle first and then down the nail, but I do have it on a very low setting, which is why it does, you can't really see it moving a lot. It's a gradual thing, it's slow. I like to take my time to make sure I'm not taking too much away. And then hand filing with my Glitter Bowels metal file boards and refills, which will also be in the description box below for you guys. I always go in the side walls first and then on the top. And then one of Annabelle's favorite parts is coming. It's the buffing. So these neon buffer blocks are also on the website. You'll see below. So I'm now using my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm going to top coat all of these nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure them for 60 seconds. And we all love the top coating part when they come to life. And this client of mine is one of also my best friends and she always gets a very big smile on her face at this point and she always looks quite sad when I first put the clear on and she sees, in her words, the glitter disappear and it goes away. So I'm showing a bit of crystals here. I've applied a little bit of glass slippers clear and I'm placing the biggest crystal I'll be using on the nail and removing the excess from the bottom. I'm so sorry that the um, nail is a little bit off camera. So apply your resin glue or nail glue, pick up with your pincers or your wax stick and place. Just have some patience for your shaped crystals. As you can see, they can be a little bit fiddly, but just be patient. So I'm applying a little bit more and applying my crystal, just taking my time as well, not rushing anything. Applying a medium and a small there. I've done the same the other side. So at this point, I didn't realize that I was making it look like a snowflake until after. But I was really happy about this because obviously they are her Christmas nails. 
and apply again always make sure that when you're using glue just in case so they don't slide around everywhere make sure that you cleanse the nails after you've top coated them or ask your client to wash your hands and that's that part guys but there is other videos on purely how i apply my swarovskis if you'd like to see so i hope you like them let me know in the comments what you think and if you do like them and also what you think i should do for my next video thank you very much for watching and if you're not subscribed already please do i would love that and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this too so i can see so thanks again guys see you soon bye